This is the SFF Insider coming to you live from the Filmmakers Lounge. And today I'm with Steve Tatone, Jay White, Danielle White. And you are with Beautiful Noise. Okay, Steve, and you are the director of the film. And Jay, Danielle, you are the wonderful stars. Yes. We portray, yes, I portray uh, uh, Bobby Drake. And I play the character Dez. Great. Steve, do me a favor. Tell our audience a little bit about the film. The film really deals with the issues of redemption, I think, in the final analysis. It's, uh, it starts out uh, with a, a pretty familiar type story that many people may have seen before. Uh, people who have fallen from grace trying to figure out their way back to the light. Uh, we have a uh, kind of an aging, broken down uh, rock, ex-rock star from the 60s uh, decided to... Uh, turn his back on life and his music and end up out here in the backwoods of Florida, Mayaka to be exact. Which is a little ironic because I'm looking at Jay here and he looks like anything but broken down or old. So yeah. this is pretty awesome. A lot of prosthetics or something. Well, not, a heck of a beard, but other than that. Yeah. Well, that would do. Beard and a scar, but anyway. <laughs> uh, so so uh, Des, Danielle's character, uh, is an up-and-coming singer and she, she discovers some unreleased songs of Jay's character uh, from 35 years ago and realizes that between her and her friend, who's also trying to make it in the music business, if they could find this recluse and, and get his okay to record these songs, they're going to become stars. And so the movie kind of, that's the launching point for the movie, but what happens uh, on that road to redemption uh, is, is so twisted and turned and uh, it gets a little crazy at the end. Uh, people need to pay attention to it. It is a musical, and I, and, I, and I guess the most important thing I would suggest is those who catch the film, pay close attention to the lyrics and the characters singing them, because every lyric, every musical number in the piece liter literally propels the storyline. And I think that's what sets Beautiful Noise apart from a typical drama. And uh, as I say, it's, it's got a lot of heart and soul to it, but uh, it's the music that I think lifts us to a different place and makes us a contender on the international stage. That is sensational. Jay, tell me a little bit about what it was like to portray this character. Um, at, well, first of all, it was a lot of fun. Uh, um, uh, Steve found me, uh, I, live, I live in Las Vegas, and uh, contacted me and asked me about the part, and I read the script, and, I, and as I went through it, I, you know, I, I was trying to get a feel for the character, but it really wasn't until maybe the first day of shooting that I uh, that I got the uh, the true essence of who he was and mm. kind of where he was from and and, uh, and so did that have something to do with just being here on the location? I think that helped a whole lot. Yeah, and then working with uh, Danielle here, we, our characters uh, work together quite often in s several of the scenes, and so playing off of her and and, and doing what we did together, uh, it uh, is a real interesting character. As, as Steve mentioned, he uh, a recluse that kind of you know is out of the music business for a long, long time and. Uh, and, and just is kind of pissed off at the world for it, and uh, and so he uh, she comes into his life, and and uh, and things begin to change a little bit, and the story kind of takes off from there. So it, yeah, it was a very enjoyable part to play. Yeah, that's fantastic. Now, Danielle, your character is really the story driver here. You're the one who comes into into his life, shakes him out of this morass. What was it like taking on this bigger role? Um, I think that it was it was like Jay said, a lot of fun. First mm -hmm. of all. Um, but I think I think Des and I um, share a lot of qualities, and I think that for me, it was fun playing someone that um, reminds me of myself, but has a sort of power that I feel I don't have. So I think that um, you find throughout the story, uh, yeah, that Des is just kind of has this sort of ethereal, I don't know, quality about her that I feel like if. Um, yeah, that would be the really, really big difference between the two of us. But other than that, it was just—it was kind of like just uh, putting on. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fun. Jay, do you feel like this is this music has now become a part of your life? Are you looking forward to, in addition to your your normal uh, performances, uh, working with this music uh, and maybe even creating more music as this character? You know, I—I I don't know. I, maybe as the character, I possibly, but. Uh, uh, I've been performing as Neil Diamond for the last 25 years, and I've been 20 years in Vegas, and 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 so performing one kind of music, one style of music for for that long, it's really really nice. 
to kind of break out of that and be able to do something original. These songs are all original songs written by three or four different songwriters, uh, most of which were part of the movie that, uh, themselves. And uh, and so I, I would love to put together a, you know an original album that contains maybe a dozen or so of, of these original tunes because they are wonderful and I enjoyed it. Yeah. And my understanding is that. Uh, the movie is selling really, really well. I saw that we were rush only on every screening except one, so congratulations on that. And um, are you contemplating a beautiful noise, too? Actually, <laughs> we're, we're far beyond contemplation. The All right. Beautiful noise, too. Uh, Serenade, which is the prequel, kind of tells the story of what happened 15 years earlier than where we started this one. Uh, that will be shot uh, later this summer and fall back-to-back -back with the sequel, which is called Heartlight. Okay. And uh, the cool thing about it is, and that takes place where this current film left off. So in the trilogy, the film that's showcasing this weekend and this week is the second in the series. What's really exciting for all of us is the, the original music that will be showcased. Uh, it gives us a chance. By the time people see all three films, they're gonna, we're going to literally experience just about every genre of music uh, for, for every demographic. It, was, it didn't start out as a planned uh, scenario, but that's what it's turning into. So both from a musical standpoint and from a storytelling standpoint, I just had more to say by the time we got done shooting this. And with these kind of people involved, it's just, it's just an uplifting uh, project that I think will reach a mass audience worldwide. Sensational. Is there anything else any of you would like to uh, say in parting? And from my part, just a, a, a sincere thanks to everybody here at the, uh, the film festival because we've got a we've got a scenario where we've got we're going to end up with six sold outs. It's it's unprecedented six sellouts of a screening uh, for an independent feature film here in town. I think the record was four, and we've shattered that. And uh, they're still banging the doors down. Our our phones are ringing off the hook from our offices. People are dying to get involved and and see this film. So if they can't see it at the festival. Hopefully they'll see it down the road uh, when we get distribution. Fantastic. You guys? Um, uh, Steve, uh, I don't know if you mentioned that uh, we're also going to be doing a concert tour, a uh, Beautiful you. Noise concert tour. So what we'll do is the first half of the show will be songs from the movie itself performed by the artists who are in the movie. Um, and uh, we were really all singers first, I think, and kind of actors second. But, but um, aside from that, uh, yeah, the tour will be, the first half of the show would be the... Uh, the, uh, the beautiful noise concert, you know, uh, uh, songs, and then the second half of the show, I'll be performing as Neil Diamond, and and I'll kind of make up the other half. So it, I think it'll be a, a good uh, uh, stage show to take around the country and around the world. Sounds great. I want to see it, Danielle. Um, yeah, I guess I would just say uh, a big thanks to everybody involved in the film, and it's been quite a pleasure. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you.